Welcome to the Performing Arts School on Broadway. Uh, I'm here in our 900 seat auditorium and really the only thing that is missing is you. We're missing an audience and we can't wait for the chance for our students and our families to begin to enjoy this beautiful space. My name is Jackson Westensko. I am the school designer for the Performing Arts School on Broadway and will also be the director or principal next year as we begin our first year. Um, really excited to share with you tonight some of the plans that we have for you and talk about what we're going to be able to create together here at this brand new school, part of Mapleton Public Schools. Um, thank you, some of you already put some questions there in the Q&A. You won't necessarily see your questions pop up. Um, I'm going to go over to a presentation view here shortly, so I'm going to collect all of those questions throughout this presentation and then I'll answer those questions uh, when we get to the end of the presentation and make sure you have my contact information so we can continue the conversation um, afterward. But with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention for those of uh, our, our family members who are online right now, todos ustedes que hablan español, si prefieren tener una plática en español, estoy muy dispuesto a tener una plática uh, en español uh, por teléfono o tal vez aquí um, en, en este edificio, uh, también por correo electrónico, lo que ustedes prefieren. Entonces, si prefieren tener esta plática en español, favor de mandarme un correo electrónico o llama, llamarme a este número y uh, yo regresaré la llamada lo más pronto que puedo para que podamos continuar esta conversación. I want to begin by sharing a little bit about our vision for the Performing Arts School on Broadway with this video. For our singers and songwriters, builders and engineers, creators and composers, directors and designers, makers and musicians, dancers and choreographers, scholars and innovators. We would like to welcome you to Mapleton's newest school, the Performing Arts School on Broadway. The Performing Arts School on Broadway is a new 7th through 12th grade school that pairs rigorous academics with performing arts through an educational approach rooted in innovation, imagination, and intention. This new school will open in the fall on the Broadway campus. Students will call the Mapleton Arts Center home and will call the Black Box Theater, Dance Studio, and Music Rooms their classrooms. Imagine mastering geometry through stage and set design, diving into history by becoming a part of the story, studying science through sound, becoming creative, intuitive, articulate, and expressive through technical art. Don't just enjoy the show, create the show. Enroll today in the Performing Arts School on Broadway because every student deserves the chance to perform on Broadway. Well, I'm sitting here in the MAC or Mapleton Arts Center located right on Broadway Street. Like I said, I can't wait for you to join me um, and really to join me as part of our cast and crew. For a brief moment, I worked for uh, the Walt Disney Corporation and one of the special things they do there is their employees aren't called employees, they're called the cast. The same thing is true here at the Performing Arts School on Broadway. We are all part of a group creating something beautiful together. And I want to talk a little bit about the crew and the cast that we know right now. Um, I've introduced myself just a little bit. Uh, I want to tell you why I'm so passionate about this school. Uh, I started in theater in middle school because my mom made me audition for a play. And I found out after doing that play that I belonged there almost more than any other place that I could at school. As much as I enjoyed sports or academics or any other club, being in performing arts, being part of a musical group, being part of a play gave me a place to belong. And I think that's one of the things that can make sure you have a successful educational career, especially through middle school and high school. And that's the kind of environment we want to create here. Um, for myself, I did theater throughout high school. Uh, in college, I dabbled a little bit in improv theater and improv comedy. Uh, as I graduated from college, got married, my wife and I, we directed some plays in a community theater. We acted in that community theater. I occasionally have done some sketch comedy work with some friends of mine. And I actually throw a pretty mean karaoke party at my house. I love the performing arts. I love opportunities that I have to get together with people and create something new to perform and to share, uh, maybe not my talent, but to share things that I'm feeling. And I think that's what performing arts is all about. 
Um, through that time, I've been able to connect with a lot of people here in Denver and beyond who uh, have gone on to be have professional careers in performing arts. I know that having a background in performing arts, there are so many benefits to it that don't just include becoming an actor on Broadway, a musician at Carnegie Hall, or uh, going to LA to become a movie producer. There's so many opportunities that you can have by developing skills that you'll learn here at the Performing Arts School on Broadway. Also part of our cast and crew, uh, as we're starting out as a brand new school, it's pretty incredible that the school district has put resources and support behind a performing arts and arts based school in a time where so many other places are cutting out fine arts. They're cutting out performing arts and they're finding ways to save resources. Mapleton is investing in it. So the Mapleton school district administrators and our school board are a big part of making sure that this school is successful. Right now, before our opening, we have a design team meeting twice a month and even more often to talk about what do we need to make sure exists in the school, to talk about the design of the school and to talk about the resources that we have, to talk about how we bring our community in, to talk about what students are gonna learn at the school. That design team is made up of employees of Mapleton schools, current teachers in Mapleton schools, um, it is also including students and families, and hopefully some of you that are on this call tonight will eventually be part of the design team before the school opens. We'll have a core of academic instructors. We'll talk a little bit about that to make sure that we get reading, writing, math, science, social studies. Those teachers will be a core part of our cast and crew. And of course, our performing arts instructors in music, dance, theater, technical arts, they'll be an important part of the cast and the crew. But really the most important part in my mind is you, our students and the families who will be a part of the Performing Arts School on Broadway. So if you're a musician, you might say, this is exactly what I need. If you're a part of plays, an actor, if you are uh, a, a singer or a songwriter, you might see yourself here. But I also want to make sure that builders and designers and engineers see themselves building sets and lighting designs and engineering the audio for our shows, recording their own songs here. I want to see both ballet dancers and hip hop dancers and break dancers finding themselves here at the Performing Arts School on Broadway. This is really a school for creators, creative people, innovators and scholars. And I hope you see yourself here at this school. When we talk about our mission and vision, <clears throat> I want to make it clear that I love performing, but I didn't go on and make a career out of performing in and of itself. It was the skills I learned in performing arts, in theater, in choir, in music classes that have really helped me be successful in anything that I found success in. Our mission, and again, as a brand new school, I love that this mission and this vision is still evolving. But really the focus we have is to prepare students to create their future by pairing rigorous academics with performing arts through an educational approach rooted in innovation, imagination, and intention. To give you an idea of the vision, we believe that the performing arts can inspire a love of learning and teach skills in creativity, communication, collaboration, problem solving, and leadership. We believe students prepared in this way will find success in their chosen path and become the leaders who change the world. Some of you may go on to perform on Broadway. Some of you may make films in the future, but any student who attends this school will leave with skills that will help them be successful in anything. You truly can be the future leaders that make a difference in our communities and in the world. So our model, for the Performing Arts School on Broadway. One of the greatest things about the school and where we're situated is that we're part of the Mapleton Public School System. Our curriculum is board approved. It's been proven by years of experience um, at the different middle schools and high schools throughout Mapleton. Our model specifically will layer on performing arts in a unique way that is engaging and designed just for you. So let's take a little bit about what that looks like. 
In our mission statement, we talked about being rooted in innovation, imagination, and intention. Art itself requires innovation, creating new things, taking old things and presenting them in a new way. The school itself is incredibly innovative, both in our district and throughout the state and the country. We'll bring that into our school model, ways to innovate how students learn and really put learning at the center of a, of a student's day. Imagination is key to creating art. We see possibilities in everything that students do. We see what is possible in learning science and putting it on stage and bringing it to life. What students learn about history, they can bring that to life through the music that they create. And intention. With all this, we are grounded in the Colorado State Academic Standards. We are grounded in the social emotional skills and the 21st century learning skills that students need to be successful. And throughout their classes each day, they're going to learn those skills, meet the required requirements to graduate from, from high school, but also develop those skills that will help them be successful in life. The two main parts of our model include rigorous academics and performing arts and how we pair them together really make our unique model. So rigorous academics include all the traditional core classes, English, math, history and science. And our performing arts classes include tracks in stage arts, which might include theater, acting and dancing in music, both instrumental music and vocal music and technical arts, lighting, sound design, set design. Students who want to learn construction skills or hone those construction skills will have really hands on experience in building things as well as uh, recording, sound recording, podcasting. I'll show you later some of the beautiful facilities we have here and the resources we have so that students can develop their technical art skills as well that both exist on their own, but also support the performing arts. So what does that look like in a student's day? We'll go through what a middle school and early high school schedule and a high school schedule might look like. For a lot of our students, their day will begin with zero hour. Zero hour for students who are already part of Mapleton, know that band, orchestra, and choir are district supported classes. To create a big band, to have a full orchestra, to have a beautiful large choir, we're gonna to pull together all the talent that is across Mapleton and students at the Performing Arts School on Broadway will continue to be a part of those district band, orchestra, and choir classes. If your passion is in cello, you're gonna continue doing those zero hour classes and being part of our morning orchestra classes. Um, so those optional zero hour classes will be a big part of many students day at Performing Arts School on Broadway. After that middle school students, <clears throat> All of our students will go to an advisory course. Our advisory course is what we call a creative collective. Our advisory courses at a lot of schools really support students in making sure they set goals, support them socially and emotionally, they're prepared for the day and the week, and they have a class to join together. And our creative collective classes do just that. I'll talk a little bit more about those later. Then for our middle school students, they'd likely come over here to the MAC and have their morning arts block. The arts block, especially at the middle school level, includes two different things. The first thing is an exploration class, and those exploration classes ensure that every student, no matter what their interest is right now in the arts, they get a sampling of the different arts that we offer here. So stage arts, including theater and dancing and acting. All students will get a taste of that. All students will get a music class. So they'll have uh, experiences with instrumental music and with choir. And all students will also get a class in technical arts, learning about set design, learning about how uh, production is put together, learning how to run the lights behind me. Uh, all those things would be something that every student would have some exposure to. But also in those arts classes, we want to have some choice there. So students can, even at the middle school level, say, you know what, I really do love singing. I want to hone that skill and I want to practice that. And in those classes, they might be mixed with other grade level, other seventh and eighth grade students may be mixed together who have an interest 
in one of those specific tracks. Another student might say, man, this construction thing is really fascinating to me. I'm interested in engineering or, or in construction work as a career. Uh, let me practice that here in, in this technical arts track. Um, after the morning arts block, then students would have their academic classes, and we'll see a little bit of, of what the facilities look like here. But those academic classes, some of them may be here at the MAC, but also in other places on the Broadway campus. Academic classes include humanities, English language arts and social studies are included in the humanities and math and science. And just like every other high quality school across Mapleton, students will have core academic classes that they'll attend and meet Colorado State academic standards and uh, make sure they, they learn those core academic skills to be successful. Finally, after school, again, a lot of our students are going to still be interested in practicing, in rehearsing, and learning more after school. Just like uh, an athlete is going to go to basketball practice after school, many of our students are going to be part of the district uh, fall play or spring musical. They might be part of other clubs that are sponsored by our school, but there are also a lot of opportunities that we're looking into for community programs, other performing arts programs that exist in the North Denver area here in Thornton, where students would have chances to explore other kinds of performing arts skills in singing and acting. And a lot of those things are going to be dependent upon interests of students. So as students who start this first year here at the Performing Arts School on Broadway, you'd have the chance to influence what kind of classes we have. Looking at a ninth and 10th grade sample schedule, a lot of the elements are the same. Again, we start with zero hour. If you play the trombone, then you're going to keep continuing to attend zero hour to be part of the band. Um, but that is optional if you aren't interested in choir orchestra. Um, if that's not already part of something that you're doing, that zero hour class wouldn't be required, but it definitely is if you are an instrumentalist, if you're someone who's playing an instrument, you'll want to continue with that, those zero hour classes. Our ninth and 10th graders also will have their advisory class or our creative collectives. Morning academic block might include humanities where they get English um, social studies, English language arts and social studies. What I want to talk about briefly here is just the connection that we want each of those classes to have with performing arts. When students are in a history class, they're going to be making connections to the history of a theater piece that they're doing. When they're working in their English language arts class, they might tie things to uh, a, a choir piece that they're doing, the poetry of a song that they're singing in their choir classes. The intention and the model of the school is that students see art all throughout their lives and all throughout their, their studies. So we're connecting classes that students are learning from and they're performing arts here in the MAC with their core classes to see how art exists everywhere. And teachers work together to make sure that students can make those connections and really engage them even more deeply in both of those classes. So ninth and 10th grade may start the morning with a humanities class and then in the middle of the day have their arts block and it would be follow a similar pattern having one class that isn't uh, that is an exploration class. Maybe this isn't an interest now, but maybe this is a preference that uh, sorry, the first class would be an exploration class. They'd get a touch of stage arts, theater, dancing, acting, uh, a music class and then also a technical arts class. But then in ninth and 10th grade, you'd also get to have a choice class in one of those three areas. And this might be a preference that you're starting to have more of an interest in. The afternoon academic block might be math and science. And then after school, continue with the district sponsored uh, performing arts events or other clubs that we are able to offer. Finally, 11th and 12th graders following a similar pattern with zero hour, our advisory having a morning academic block with humanities, math, and science, and then an afternoon block with the arts. With 11th and 12th graders, they're probably finding a passion. And having met some of the electives requirements for graduation, they're going to be choosing more of those classes there and focusing in on the kinds of arts that they want to really study and really uh, develop. And also preparing for their senior showcase, which we'll also talk about in a minute. And once again, students will have the chance to participate in after school activities. 
The path to graduation looks the same across Mapleton, but you can see here a, a snapshot that ensures that students are getting opportunities in performing arts, but also are meeting their graduation requirements once they begin ninth grade. Going back to that first class, our advisory class, these are our creative collectives. If you look up creative collective, even on Google, um, you'll find that these are groups of creative people that exist to really support one another. And that's what we want this morning class to be. Students who uh, get together with an advisor and talk about their goals, their passions, their successes, and their challenges. And this is going to be a grounding class for every student every day before they begin their academic and performing arts classes. It's a period to connect, to create, to support class, to support their classmates. And we want to start a tradition called Forte Fridays. If you uh, play music or maybe you recognize the root of that word, Forte is a strength or it means strong in music, of course. But on Fridays, we want to start a tradition of our creative class, creative collective classes to take turns showcasing their talents for the school in larger assemblies. Um, of course, assuming we're able to, to begin gathering whole school at that point, but we want to be able to share our talents. Another element that is important here uh, for seniors, a senior showcase. During the second semester of senior year, students who are in 12th grade are going to need to be ready to show off what, they, what they've learned at school, but also show off the talents that they've developed. Uh, this might be a performance in, on the stage, it could be a music performance, or it could be a technical arts showcase. This could be an individual showcase, could be paired, or it could be as part of a, a small group. And seniors will work with a teacher mentor to create an original element of artistic expression. Um, if that is uh, a, a, a short play or a one act that already exists or a musical piece that, one, that already exists, there'll be some element there that will want seniors to show off how they made it unique and you make it their own. Uh, Performing Arts School on Broadway also includes an inclusive learning center. This is uh, a center for students with significant support needs and students in the ILC receive emotional interventions and support, additional interventions and support for academic, social, emotional and health needs in the general education and special education classrooms. Inclusion is what the arts are all about and it's definitely an important part of our model having our inclusive learning center there. So much of, of what we're doing at the Performing Arts School on Broadway really mirrors uh, what happens at our other sister art school, Mesa, and other high schools across the district. Um, but there are unique opportunities and really those come in performance opportunities. Some of those might include those district supported opportunities. I just talked about our senior showcases, but in those elective courses, we'll also have class recitals for those choir classes, grade level celebrations of learning, as core academic classes make connections with performing arts classes, there are going to be opportunities for families and parents to come in and celebrate what students have learned and see those connections between academics and the performing arts. School level performances, as well, we'll still have the district plays and musicals and concerts. We want to have school level performances where students can show off what they can do and share their talents with our community. Um, after school clubs and partnerships, a lot of those are still to be determined based on uh, our enrollment here at the school and what students are really interested in, but there will definitely definitely be opportunities for performance there. And then family and community events. This is such a beautiful space and our talents are going to be, our students are going to be developing so many amazing talents that we want to have chances to just bring the community together to celebrate those things and participate in them. Uh, these will be really student led and creative collective led events, but we might have dances or poetry slams, open mic nights. This is really up to us as, as a cast and crew and a, and a group of students and staff to come up with how we can share our, our talents with our community. That's an overview of our model. I want to look a little bit now at where some of this learning will be taking place. Uh, right now you can see the house of our beautiful 901 seat auditorium. Uh, in coming into the Mapleton Arts Center, you'll see some of our common areas and there really are museum quality spaces here. When you walk through this space, you can just tell how beautiful it is and how intentionally this made for students to come and have an amazing experience learning in this building. 
Uh, the house, when you're sitting in the auditorium, there isn't a bad seat in the whole auditorium. You can see uh, the stage from anywhere, and we're going to be able to put on some amazing performances for our audiences here in this place. If the technical arts are your interest, if audio equipment and recording, if you are uh, an aspiring recording artist, hip hop artist, podcaster, this is a fantastic place for you to come and learn those skills to be taught by, uh, in many cases, professionals coming in and showing us how they use this space. But we already have equipment to help students go from just being interested in, in how music is recorded to really creating amazing work themselves. To get there, we need to rehearse. We've got a beautiful black box theater uh, with the same dimensions as our main stage here. So students will be able to rehearse, practice, and, uh, and get ready for shows there. You can also see on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, this picture doesn't do it justice, but uh, a dressing room to get ready for shows. And that dressing room rivals any professional dressing room that you would see in any large theater. Our music rooms are just amazing. This is a picture of our band room. It has beautiful windows along the back and the acoustic tiles on the ceiling and on the walls are both uh, for acoustics, but also they're a beautiful part of the room. Our orchestra room similarly has a large space for students to practice, to store their instruments and to uh, hone their skills in, in the orchestra. This is our choir room. Each of the rooms includes state-of-the-art technology for recording and projecting and um, for capturing sound and all the teachers are trained on really making sure we can capture performances and practices from students. Here's our dance room, beautiful room with uh, bars and mirrors. Each of the rooms also have monitors in them so we can record performances but also uh, monitor performances that are happening on the main stage. And one unique uh, space that we have here on campus is the Idea Lab. It is a giant room where just uh, the possibilities are unlimited, but to start with, that's where we're gonna be building sets, working on uh, the designs for a lot of our productions here, but that's gonna be a wonderful place for students to put their ideas really uh, into action, put them into a design and then create them in the Idea Lab with all kinds of construction tools in there. Family engagement. You've seen a little bit about what our space is. You've heard a little bit about what the school model is. We want to make sure that our families and our community are a big part of engaging with the learning here and, and with this beautiful space. Families can expect to be invited to student-led conferences, and these really replace parent-teacher conferences because uh, we want students to lead in their learning. So teachers and parents will be there, but students lead out in talking about their learning. I mentioned briefly celebrations of learning, but we want to take time each quarter and semester to celebrate what students have learned. That will include performances, but it will also include connections to core academic content learning. We want families to attend performances for their students and for all students who are part of the school. Uh, we want families to uh, attend community events those monthly events that hopefully will become traditions here. We want to, you to invite your friends and neighbors to attend those also. Uh, we also want to have a performing arts school on Broadway parent patrons group uh, to get up productions, dance productions, choir concerts. Uh, it takes a lot of people and so we're looking forward to parents volunteering to support with our patrons group. And one thing I want to invite you to do, if you have your cell phone here and can take a, a, a snapshot of that, these are two links. Because really we need students here. We need the right students here. And if you're a performing artist, if you're a part of a performance group, a music group, uh, you know the kinds of students who really belong here. So we want you to share the message with as many people as you can. If you want to share the interest form with a family member and you say, hey, just check this out, put your name down, then we'll reach out to families who are interested and get their contact information and answer any questions they have. We also have some spaces left for our school tours, and those are 30 minute tours of the Mapleton Arts Center. If you uh, click on, if you take a picture of that QR code, that will take you to our Sign Up Genius and you could sign up for a school tour or you can encourage a friend or a neighbor, somebody you know who should hear about 
the Performing Arts School on Broadway. You can also find those links on our website through the Mapleton uh, homepage. Um, we are over on time, so I hope that you've seen this uh, Denver Channel 7 uh, report they did on this new building. It's also on our website and we encourage you to check that out, but you can get another picture of what this building looks like, what our intentions are here in this building, and also hear from some students who've already been able to enjoy this facility. So with that, I'm going to jump back over to Jackson, I think we were able to get almost all of the questions answered. The last question, though, okay. is my child started at Mesa this year and has loved the visual arts classes, but she's also always also been a performer. You mentioned stage and set design. Other than that, are there going to be other opportunities for the children to develop their visual arts? Yeah, that's a great question. I think that's one of the the really neat things about Mapleton is having schools that are really focused in in some special ways. Um, Mesa will have the really the expertise on those deeper visual arts. So students so students who are interested in pottery and and uh, graphic design and those things, they're going to be classes specifically tailored to that. Now, having said that. Uh, student who is at the Performing Arts School on Broadway. I think uh, the, the design for sets and those things, those will be part of uh, a visual arts um, track. Also be potentially graphic design for our productions and opportunities for students to show their learning through arts in their core academic classes. Um, Students throughout Mapleton will always be able to be part of band, orchestra, and choir, and so a student at Mesa could still get performing arts through there. If visual arts are is a student's passion, as much as it pains me to say it, um, I think Mesa could be a really great fit. Now I was at Mesa for years, so I, I'm very comfortable saying that because it's a wonderful fit there. But I also know as we as part of our our, our three you know core beliefs about innovation, imagination, and intention, a student who comes here and says. You know, I really want to express myself with with this visual medium medium on this project. Teachers want to work with students and make sure they have the best way to show their learning. So we certainly wouldn't stifle that here, but the expertise and the support would be more complete at Mesa. I hope that's an OK answer there. Um, Damon, thank you so much for answering those questions in the in the chat there. Um, if there's nothing else, I just want to again thank you so much for joining us here. Um, I will put my contact information back up here one more time and uh, invite you to share with me if you have any questions uh, after this meeting. Um, absolutely more than welcome to Call my office there and I'm happy to respond to you and have a phone conversation if you'd like. If you get onto the school tour, then uh, we'll meet face to face. Of course, we'll have masks on, we'll be socially distanced, but for that brief time, be happy to talk through anything else. Um, next things for you to do when you're in the Mapleton's enrollment process, please choose Performing Arts School on Broadway. If this is uh, the right fit for you, tell others about the school. If you're part of other performing groups, share with them about that. And if you uh, need some ways to share that, if you'd like some literature or other ways to, to make sure you can connect with others, I'm happy to share that with you. Um, you can tour our Mac uh, as, as long as we still have spaces for that. And then you can see my email there. I apologize that my ancestors have such a Danish name there, but you can uh, reach out to me at that email address or call that phone number and I'll get back to you directly. Thank you so much. We look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great night.